Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I have a uh, console 289RB-2, a post bed walking food machine. Uh, obviously from console, a very heavy duty post bed sewing machine. Post bed machines are done for people that wanna do, let's say they wanna do something inside the shoe or a cap or a hat. Or in this case, this customer makes uh, a motorcycle seat and they make very, very nice fancy ones. And uh, it is a beautiful sewing machine and we assembled it, they're in Los Angeles and they're gonna come pick it up. We had it set up on a T105 thread. Look at this beauty. T105 thread, a polyester T105, but they said they use 210 or 207 uh, nylon bonded thread, so I am changing it. And while we wanted to do this, we are going to um, show you how this machine works. Uh, on a regular table, K legs, all the tables, 99.99% of the tables are, are uh, uh, same size. This is a uh, 70, 48, 48 by 21 on a K leg. We have it set up on a um, brushless motor with needle positioning system. Um, the machine is equipped with everything. You have a, a knee lifter right here. You have a hand uh, lifter back here. It comes with the oil. I'm gonna show you the bottom of the machine inside so you could see what a beauty it is. I'm gonna hold it because it's really heavy. Look at inside. There is no, not an oil pan in here, no oil pan. Um, oil drop pan, meaning that you oil all the, remove this patch, I'm going really heavy. All right. All the red areas here are gonna be oiled. I'm gonna look at this timing belt, really heavy duty sewing machine. Uh, Bobbin winder right here. We're gonna go over that. Um, whenever you use this, make sure you bring it down very, very easy. All right. Oil all the painted red areas. You see here, inside here, here, all. And then here is where all the oil goes. And there is a gauge here that shows you whenever you need to add or more or add or less. Um, again, a U bobbin, look at this big bobbin. I took it out because I wanna do the thread and I want you guys to see it. The machine is equipped with safety clutch, meaning that if you go over something really, really heavy and the machine cannot take it, it will lock in, nothing will work. When, whenever you turn this, the needle will not go up or down. Uh, and then you press this, and then it would release by itself. Um, again, triple feed. Triple feed means if you come close to me. Oof, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do a knee lift. So you see, the feed dog moves, obviously. See? And then as the, knee, the uh, feed dog moves, you see how needle moves with it? You see? The needle travels with it back and forth. And now there's a third one. Also the inside foot moves back and forth. You see that? So that's triple feet, right? Beautiful. So this is a re really heavy duty sewing machine made by console, top notch. All right, I'm gonna do the threading because the customer wanted me to do the threading. Uh, here you go, 207, really heavy polyester, nylon, bonded thread. Uh, I'm gonna go in the back, pull it through. It did, again, I said this over and over and over, and I'm gonna say it again. It is very important how to thread your sewing machine. Very, very important, really important. And sometimes it's the first time it doesn't work, a lot of people call me, my sewing machine is not working. And the first thing that I tell them, hey, go check your manual, make sure that the machine is work, uh, threaded right. And a lot of people say, no, I know, I've been doing this for years, since I was five years old, since my mom, well, okay, I know. But at the end of the day, a lot of people, 99% of the time, whenever your sewing machine is not working, 
is the thread and the tension, guaranteed. All right, so we come through this here, and then you have these tre tre thread guys here with three holes in them. You don't need to use all the three holes. Um, if you want, you could. I don't, I use two, I do in. I'll make sure that doesn't get cut out somewhere else. Out, and in again, and Now, this is a major tension. This is the one, goes around it. This is the one that you play with to adjust the tension. You see up here, down and up. And I want to come here and show them this tension. Take up spring right now. It has to be playing like this while the machine is working. If you see this is not playing, it's loose somewhere and your machine is not working then this is the problem. This is the major, major thing to do the thread tensioning. And then thread goes through here, up, and through the take up lever. And you can see that. Here you go. Up again and down. Through here, you could put oil in here silicone spray or silicone oil, not a drinking oil or not a cooking oil or not a automobile, you know, no. A silicone oil or silicone spray. It will help the machine work faster and better. You put the needle through, I mean the thread through the needle. The needles are 135 by 17. And this machine is equipped with size 20, uh, I think it's 22 or 23 thread. Uh, from left to right, uh, this is where, okay, you could put it through, come down here, you are done. And there is a guide here too, but I don't know, I'm gonna put it through the guide here too. Now, we're gonna go, a lot of people wanna know how to do the bobbin. When the bobbin is done, and this is the bobbin winder, and whenever the machine is working, the bobbin is gonna return, and it's gonna stop by itself. You guys know, I'm, I did a bunch of videos on this, I'm not gonna go over it. When you take the thread out, the bobbin out, again, it's a U bobbin, and let's say you open this up, take your old bobbin out, or your, the lever, there is no bobbin case. They call this a drop down drop down bobbin. You put bobbin in here, you lock it, you go through here, you see that? You see? And then if you turn this, you see that it will go and put it down, you see that underneath? And I'm gonna take this, this is gonna go down and it's gonna come up and come on, praise the Lord. See? Now, there is a little tiny problem, and I'm gonna tell you what is the problem. The problem is that usually 100% of the time, the lower thread and the upper thread should be the same. We have the customer requested a 207 thread. We're delivering this machine today and I'm changing it for them, but the bottom is 69. So sometimes there's a, a little bit of problem, but I'm not gonna change the bottom thread. I'm gonna just keep it. Um, just to go over the stuff that comes with the machine. Four needles, one bobbin, bunch of tools, tweezers, oiler, two small, one small, one medium, one pretty large screwdriver, bunch of paperwork on the motor, and the uh, machine itself. Uh, Again, great machine, let's, let's start. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. All right, so we have a, a pretty, um, I could call this a muslin, Teflon, I mean, uh, cotton. Uh, I'm gonna do like, maybe, more like four thread, four layers, and I'm gonna do eight layers now. So make it really thick. 
If you get the machine and you say, hey David, that 10 cent, that foot, it's normal. The foot knee lifter has to be hard. It is hard. You're gonna put this right here. We have about maybe 30 to 40 different type of feet for this machine. Left side, slipper foot, right side, recording foot, teeth, no teeth, all type. I usually like to start my sewing machine by going and doing one or two, and then the machine is on already. One thing you wanna know, you wanna know speed up and speed down, okay? The P and S are for needle positioning system. We're gonna get to it. We have a needle positioning system here. The needle positioning system will make the needle stay up or down. Depends how it's set. I don't even know if it's set or not. I'm gonna go ahead and show. So, I'm gonna go over. I'm going left, right. See, now, you see this one? This is the back, this is the front. And you see, I, I think we need to tighten the tension. One turn, when I say tighten the tension, people go <laughs> No, one turn, half a turn to see how it's going to be, all right? We're gonna see, I'm gonna do it right next to this to make sure what is the difference between Okay, I see a little bit better. If you come in, uh, the reason you have this see big this hole because the really the the foot the uh, I mean the needle is really thick, and the the way this muslin is is very it has um, a small tiny thread so it shows. But if I do it on the regular cotton or canvas or nylon or hide, you're not gonna see that. So now I did three level of sewing. You see, and now, this is the first one, you see a little bit crooked, the third one a little bit less, and the last one, none. And look at the back, much better result. Look at this, you have a lot of black here, out, less, less, and none black here. I tighten the tension, and that's what we got. Now, I don't wanna push this sewing machine a lot because there is no oil in it, but you get the idea. Uh, again, one of the things that you wanna know probably is um, the neck, 10 and a half inch, 10 inch from needle to the neck. The height here is uh, 11 inch. Here you have uh, when you raise probably one half an inch here. And um, what else do we usually tell people? Reverse, let's do the reverse. Okay, let's do the reverse on the, this one. Okay, let me go out. And I wanna do it on a, show you guys. Reverse. Now, this is the real, real heavy duty stuff. See, I wanna show you that. Okay, and on this one, when I do it, this is it, you see? This is the middle one, the black one. You see how nicely it looks? Because this is really thick fabric. Not only thick, it is a very, very good fabric. I mean, So probably the uh, the one eighth of an inch from the side, a lot of people call and ask if um, they could adjust, uh, they could connect 
any uh, binding attachment. You gotta make your own handmade, homemade, something here so you could have your um, uh, binder attachment on the top. If you go to our website and look at the GC-8B, uh, it's our new tech cylinder bed. And in that corner, one of them, on that one, we have a extension table that goes up here and makes this both to a, uh, um, makes it to a um, flat bed, in that case, cylinder bed, but this is a post bed. Again, a beautiful, beautiful sewing machine from console to a nine RB dash two. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, everyone for watching our videos. Uh, we just did a huge, huge trade show in uh, Atlanta, and I uh, spent a lot of time at console booth, and I did uh, a major, major uh, video on pretty much uh, the uh, very, very popular sewing machine, and I want to thank console people for allowing me to be there and spend time in their booth. And here is the console. We're number one dealer for console sewing machine in America. And I want you guys to continue buying from us and continue to support, like, thumbs up, and let me know. Okay, one more thing you wanted to know, should I? This one, let's talk about this. Um, I don't know if it's set up already or not, but one of the things you, with the, um, you see it goes up, right down, and this is in the middle. This is the needle position system, very good. So it's already set up, I think. You see that the line when I press this goes up, middle, down and middle. The middle is neutral, meaning that nothing is gonna happen with the needle. The needle will stop wherever you want. But the one on top, the needle stays up, down, stays down. So let's try and I'll show you guys. Here we go. Whew, that's a nice video. Really, the council people should really hire me and put me on their payroll. Me and you both. We are, we are very happy to be able to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this up. I'm gonna again, I said, as I do this, I usually like to come down and this came out. I thought so. It, it's good that things happen that all of a sudden the thread pops out and say, why? It happened because, um, before I wanted to start sewing again, I did not pull the thread out more. I should have done it, I didn't do it, but it's all good. Um, here we go. And let me try it again. See, I don't want no question. A lot of people leave me beautiful um, messages on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok regarding video and some people say hey why don't you pass by things so fast why don't you explain this and i i really if i i, I have i i could talk i'm a you know i could talk all day long for you guys and but i have to know what is the question that you guys might have so i could talk about it but uh, i think happen is very natural for a sewing machine thread to come out and it's very natural for me, with my eyes, that I cannot put it back in, really. And getting old, um, here we go, it's good. You wanna show the back of the sewing machine meanwhile I'm doing this? It's a beautiful back, you can the back of the sewing machine. All these, uh, this is where the machine breaks, this is where the um, motor goes, all these, stuff in the back and I am going to put this in there. Come on, let's get in there. Okay, we are in. All right. See like I wanna cut this out like here so but and I could just hold this for it not to now I'm gonna show. See, when I stop, it could stop anywhere. When I stop, it stops down. This is natural. This is where the line is in the middle. I'm gonna put it top. I'm gonna show. Maybe it's not set up already, but 
it should it's not set up already but when you top up it should really stay up uh, and when you're down it should really stay down but i don't think we set it up there that's the yeah it's not set up yet so this is the way this thing is going to work and they're going to do it pretty you know probably they're going to set it up right now before we ship it up the what this that is they're going to stay the needle up or down and it's going to be uh, done from here anyway uh this is david from gold star tool and i want to thank you for watching please thumbs up like share my videos put it out um when we hit one million views i'm going to show my face and that's the big day that's a big day and we're only twenty thousand followers we have nine hundred eighty thousand people to add Ooh. really we could do it all right thank you for watching guys have a wonderful day bye